Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'd love to show you one of my favorite features new to Dorico 3, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. With note input enabled, you can now press shift and the up and down arrow keys to extend the carrot onto the staves above and below. Now, when you input notes, they are added to all staves the carrot crosses. You'll discover this seemingly simple enhancement actually greatly speeds up note input in so many situations. The feature really comes to life when you start inputting chords across multiple staves using your MIDI keyboard, as Dorico employs its sophisticated explode feature on the fly as you input. For example, look how easy it is to enter this choral passage for four voices all in one pass. Extend the carrot to both staves of a grand staff instrument, such as piano, organ, or harp, and Dorico will apportion the notes to each staff according to the split point set in preferences. You'll find it in the recording section of the play page. By default, this is set to middle C. If you would rather Dorico didn't explode as you input, and there's a sentence I never thought I'd say again, but rather input the full chord onto each staff the carrot spans, then open note input options using the key command Control shift i that's Command-Shift-I on Mac. Scroll to the bottom of the MIDI input page and set the toggle to Input all notes on each staff. Dorico's standard input tools also work with the extended carrot, such as Insert Mode and Lock Mode. And it is also possible to input grace notes and other notations, such as slurs, dynamics, and so on, as you go. Inputting notes on multiple staves at the same time works well with Dorico 3's new condensing feature, where multiple instruments are combined to be written on the same staff in the full score. With this feature, music is still input onto the separate instrument staves, and then Dorico can automatically condense the music down to as few staves as possible. Now, if you need to transcribe music from a condensed score, it's easy to play complete chords, but have Dorico input them onto the relevant separate staves. One thing to be aware of, if you have existing tuplet regions specified, but not in all of the staves you'll be inputting into, the multiple carrots could become unsynchronized from each other. So unless it's what you're meaning, I would recommend removing those before you start inputting notes with multiple carrots. Of course, it can prove very useful in some situation, and again, speeds up note input in these cases. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.